Understanding soil texture can help in selecting suitable species for planting on individual sites and can help determine site limitations that may impact tree health. Soil texture is related to the size and composition of individual soil particles. It has an impact on drainage, water holding ability, nutrient availability, and susceptibility to compaction. Soil texture is just one of a group of factors to consider when you are testing soil, along with organic matter content, soil nutrient levels, pH, and soil structure. Soil is a matrix of variously sized particles including sand, the largest particle, which has a gritty texture, silt, which has a smooth, flowery texture, and clay, the smallest particle in soil, which has a sticky texture. Here are a couple simple examples of using the feel method to determine soil texture. Because urban soils are often not uniform, it's a good idea to assess soil in multiple locations. For pre-existing trees, samples are usually taken within the drip line. Begin by wetting the soil sample to the consistency of moist putty. Remove all rocks, large organic matter, or other aggregates larger than 2 millimeters from the soil sample. Knead the soil in your palms to make the sample a uniform consistency, then attempt to roll the sample into a ball. If the sample has the right amount of moisture, so it's neither too wet nor too dry, but does not remain in a ball, it is sand. If the soil remains in a ball, gently squeeze it into a ribbon of uniform thickness between your thumb and forefinger. If the sample does not form a ribbon, but is very gritty, it is loamy sand. If it is not gritty, it is silt. If the soil does form a ribbon, use this flowchart from ISA's Soil Management for Urban Trees Best Management Practices to further assist in determining the type of soil in the sample. If the soil makes a ribbon less than one inch before it breaks, follow the chart's first column, which includes sandy loam, loam, and silt loam. If the soil makes a ribbon between one and two inches before it breaks, follow the chart's second column, which includes sandy clay loam, clay loam, and silty clay loam. If the soil makes a ribbon longer than two inches before it breaks, follow the chart's third column, which includes sandy clay, clay, and silty clay. To determine the exact type of soil within the chart using the feel method, moisten a small amount of the sample and rub it between your thumb and forefinger, squeezing it down to its smallest particles. Feel for the grittiness, smoothness, stickiness, or flower-like texture to determine what type of soil you have. For more information on soils and soil texture, check out the Soil Management for Urban Trees Best Management Practices booklet in the ISA Web Store.